Hey everyone, so it is the 18th of January I think and this is my first vlog since getting back from Italy. I thought I'd just do a little bit of catch up and tell you guys what's been happening lately. I just feel like chatting, I don't know, life is absolutely garbage right now and I just feel like talking to someone but I don't really feel like talking to someone at the same time, I just feel like talking. I don't feel like having a response and like having to carry a conversation. So yeah. I'm just talking to the camera instead. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this. I probably will upload it, but I might just delete lots of bits from in between it and just upload the bits that I want to upload. So what's happened since Italy? Obviously at first I was super jet lagged and then I think I filmed a couple videos, like got back to work and then all of a sudden, um, right before Christmas, I got um, hay f like what's it called viral conjunctivitis or something so conjunctivitis from hay fever because the pollen was friggin rough <laughs> the chemist said that like heaps of people would be coming in over that same time period like a few days before me and you know the same day with the exact same problem so that was fun that knocked me out couldn't film and I just felt gross and not well and then it was Christmas which I spent with some of my family and New Year's, wait no, after Christmas I had a wedding, so we got to Auckland for a few days for a wedding. And then of course it was New Year's, hello baby. I haven't showered yet, he's probably like, oh mum, why do you stink so bad? <laughs> um, so yeah, I went to the wedding and then got back and of course it was like New Year's Eve. So I just spent that with friends and I made lots of platters and it was amazing. I didn't vlog anything because, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it. I just needed a resting break from the camera I just I don't know there was just so much stuff happening in life and I was just not in the mood to vlog um and then sorry by the way this video is not going to be very entertaining although I might open some mail later because I feel like mail opening I was listening to music before while I was doing some editing because I don't know it just makes me feel happier and then I was like maybe if I open up some makeup it'll make me feel happier too like last night I was bawling my eyes out all afternoon and all night I was and so I just sat there and like reorganized all my z palettes and it made like made me feel so much better and then after New Year's I finally was able to do a bit more filming um some editing and everything and then so as you know my family member has been sick since my birthday on my birthday, my family, like, I was so stoked. I was like, oh my gosh, it's dinner time. I was having my family dinner. I was like, nothing bad's happened this year. Like, I don't know. You guys have been following me for a long time. My may know it's kind of like my little curse. Like, I don't know. Like, actually, probably most of the time I haven't really talked about it because it's been really personal stuff that's happened that's bad. Um, so I don't really talk about that. But, yeah, something bad happens every year on my birthday. And, like, before that, it was, like, you know, I got the bad news about LASIK. Even though I ended up being able to get it, which is really good and positive. But um, I was told I couldn't get LASIK on my birthday. And then last year, um, my family member was like, Hey, Shannon, I've been really sick and I've been throwing up blood. Blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, go to the hospital, please. <laughs> and they did. And that's where they've been for the last long amount of time however long that is since August so it's been obviously very rough I'm like trying so hard not to cry anyway I don't want this to be like a big like poor me sympathy like video either like I just genuinely want to like get some feelings off my chest and like I don't know I've said it so many times but like vlogging for me and talking to the camera like this is so therapeutic for me like I've done it so many times on my vlog channel and I've just felt upset and it doesn't matter what people say back to me, whether they're saying it's okay, Shin, and we're here for you, which is amazing. Or if people are like, oh my god, piss off, like, why are you vlogging this? It's so inappropriate. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it makes me feel better. And at the end of the day, that's why I'm doing it. So, yeah, I don't know what to say. Anyways, basically, that's what happened. I know I've been very vague and what's been happening just for like a lot of reasons which I don't know if I'll ever tell you the reasons but it's a lot of personal reasons why I'm not saying who it is and exactly like some people will know but I just rather keep a little bit of it private so we went into hospital for like the whole throwing up blood we sat there in emergency with her for like hours and hours all day like I just dropped everything and went there um Got into hospital and then, you know, they were doing tests and they could never figure out what was causing it and they did figure out there was some kind of growth or something. 
I don't want to like go into huge details about all of it. Um, but anyway, we got the news that she may need Whipple surgery, which is super dangerous. And we were freaking out, but we were happy. We were like, let's get this sorted. Let's get you home. And then a terrible thing happened. Um, a little, well not a little bit, an infection popped up in the spine. And at first we got told it was cancer. And so I was just destroyed. But luckily it wasn't. I mean, I don't know if this is lucky because it was shitty the way, but it was an infection in the spine which caused my family member to be paralyzed. Um, not completely paralyzed. She can move like tiny amounts of her feet, but she cannot walk or do anything like that. She is in a wheelchair at the moment. And so she got flown to Wellington for that surgery and then flown back to Palmy and it was just a big mess around. And then of course she got very weak and the biggest hurdle was getting her energy back and we were doing everything we could to help. I was buying her protein, like I was giving her my Lux Fitness protein, she loved it. And I gave her some of Hamish's protein, she loved that as well. Just to get some extra strength in her body because she just, like she was only allowed liquids and like thin liquids and stuff and of course we ran that past the doctor and he said that was absolutely fine um and the other drinks were so sugary and disgusting so we did that and then eventually she was able to eat and i made her muffins which i think i vlogged did i vlog it i can't remember um and scones and we just did what we could and we were just there for her along the way i was there as much as i could i was there all day long when i wasn't at home chucking together a video for you guys chucking together you know what i mean and then, um, God, I can't even remember what happened next. I was up in Auckland for a photo shoot for some upcoming products coming out with Exo Beauty. Um, and that's when we got a phone call about the paralyzed thing. And so we flew back down in a rush. I was like bawling my eyes out. And I just have to say, I was on in New Zealand and um, the air hostess was sitting at the very back of the plane. We actually got like swapped into that plane because obviously our flight wasn't meant to be at that time. And in New Zealand was like, yep, yeah, all good. Um, we can get you on a new flight. They were amazing. We told her, we told them what was happening a little bit. And then when we got on the flight, we said to the flight hostess, we were like, do you mind if we could quickly get off the plane first kind of thing, even though we're at the back. But I think the reason we said that was because our bags didn't fit above us because they had all the flight gear. And so she had to like move the bags further up the plane. And we said something about like, yeah, can we get off first or can you grab our bags for us um before everyone gets up just so that we can get off as fast as we can because basically we landed in Palmerston North and um she was in Wellington and I had to pick up my granddad and drive him down as well otherwise we would have just flown straight to Wellington of course um so we were in a little bit of a rush we just wanted to get there as soon as we could to be there for her and so yeah she was so nice and she said you know do you mind writing down her name on this piece of paper and my mum was a little bit confused and then she said that I think she said she was a Buddhist and she said that she'd like to pray for her and it was just so sweet then she gave us like heaps of fudge it was so nice <laughs> anyway so they completely like the doc the doctors did e are doing everything they could and everything they can for her but she's just so weak and so like after all this stuff happened they kind of stopped focusing on that first issue issue that is causing was causing the vomiting and everything and they did some other stuff like all over the freaking place stomach bowel pancreas like so many different areas of so many different problems and it's just been one thing after another and my family member is so freaking amazing like she's just being so positive still and just you know like she can barely even lift her head off a pillow at the moment but i just love her so much and she has been so, so strong. Like, she's been through so much. She got sent down to Burwood, which, if you didn't know, is like a specialised kind of rehab hospital type of thing. And the staff there are incredible. They are just, they treat her like a princess. They are so kind. And they just love her to pieces. And so they, they were trying to help her, um basically get a little bit more strength in her upper body so that she can go back home and be in a wheelchair but be able to get herself into bed and just do basic things like wash herself and get into the shower and stuff like that and so that was all looking so positive and that's when I said like I was so happy um and I was tweeting like 
like you know I was just so happy and we kind of I don't know we didn't know really what was happening with the original issue but no one seemed too worried about it but then something else happened and they went to Christchurch Hospital and I've got to be honest like the people at Christchurch Hospital they were very thorough and I feel like they looked at this issue and I don't know if it's a different issue or the same issue I really can't tell because there's just so many things happening and they they said like you know this could be causing these other issues the issues that she went into hospital for and oh, this just probably doesn't even make sense to anybody but myself right now oh my god anyway they were doing more tests they were saying we might do this kind of procedure or we might do this to test this lumpy thing that's in here and there were so many times I've said like this is so unusual I haven't seen this before I have no idea what it is and saying things like I don't think it's a stone because it would be this kind of shape and they're like I've got to be honest I think it's cancer but I can't test it because of the place it's in and it's weird because it hasn't grown much since like August because they got the scans from Palmy and then they were saying it could be this but that's very unlikely don't know what it is but you should be prepared for the worst and blah 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 but we throughout this whole time have just stayed so positive especially for my family member we are just like let's get you home we've been so positive and then yesterday they said that she might not be strong enough to go through any more surgery and I'm trying to stay positive still and hope that they change their mind but it sounds like they're just gonna send her back to Palmy, which is good for me like I'm excited that I can see her again every day but I don't know if they're gonna do anything and I don't know what's gonna happen and how long I'm gonna have her here for and I just can't function I don't know how I've spent all morning editing I feel like with my grief like the way I deal with it I just ignore it and I pretend like it's not happening and then all of a sudden it just hits me like a train and then I just sit here and I cry and I just don't know what to do and I don't know how to deal with it and I've just been like focusing on good news this morning and trying to take my mind off it like I was nominated for one of those awards which is incredible and I don't know why because I feel like my vlogs are just so boring like I'm just a normal person I don't know why any of you care about me and my brushes I was looking at the reviews and so many people are leaving the most amazing reviews and it's just so rewarding like I've spent so much time working on these and it's just made me really happy but then once I kind of stop and I'm silent for too long and not doing anything it just I just start freaking out again and like yesterday I was driving home and I couldn't even drive the whole way home without stopping and it's such a short drive and I just kept crying and I was I felt like I was gonna friggin run over somebody I just couldn't even concentrate and I just had to keep stopping the car and then I was getting so angry at Hamish last night for no reason and I feel so bad and I'm not trying to be an angry person but I just I don't know what I'm doing and she's still here and I should just be so thankful that she's still here but I'm just so angry at the world I want to open my mail now, but he's annoying me. Ta? Ta? No? Okay. Um, so first off, come here. What's in here? Oh, I think my mum likes this brand. Sukin Moisture Rich Body Cream. Okay. It's got nice ingredients. Cocoa, sesame, jojoba, and shea butter. Next up is the Superior to Organic Skincare at sin.nz. What's in there? 
dogs seem to love it. Why do you like it so much? Balance, Age Reverse Safely, Bioactive Complex, SPF 15. I've never heard of this brand in my life. Let me know if you guys have used it. At, what's it? Atson. Hey baby boy. Hey now. Yeah, I love you. Yay, my beautiful friend Sona released her own makeup brand, Persona. Do you get it? Do you get it? Oh, careful Louie. I keep, oh, sorry. <laughs> You're in the way. Hi Shannon, I hope you're doing well. I want to send you the Identity Palette, the first product from my new line, Persona Cosmetics. I hope you love it as much as I do. Thanks a bunch for your support. So here it is, and these shades are absolutely beautiful. I love that bottom row. I'll have to do a tutorial using it. Let me know what kind of look you want me to do, like which colors shall I use? List them down below. I do still need to do a peach tutorial using the new Too Faced collection. Chloe Morello tutorial, the Sona one. And I want to do the Burgundy palette by Kylie and the Christmas palette by Kylie as well. I've got so many tutorials planned. Hi Shan, we noticed on Twitter that your granddad is suffering from eczema. This Rhino Repair is an absolutely amazing product and is endorsed by the Eczema Association. We hope it helps. Yay, thank you. I was actually thinking that because I think these guys sent me a little one and I was going to give it to him. But I was down in Christchurch and I just wanted to get him something there and then. But I will definitely pass this along to him. I think the products I got him so far have helped the, what was it, the Hemp moisturizer from the body shop and lush i can't remember one of the moisturizers from lush but anyway next up kat von d hey shannon new goodies for you hope you love them kat von d beauty team oh my gosh i was literally on the website this morning when i was putting out my video and i saw this on the sephora website but it's coming soon so here is a brush and then Locket Brightening Powder, there's three different colours, and the Locket Makeup Setting Mist. I'm just going to open up the boxes. So this is the brush in 25. It's almost identical to the way my petal brush looks. It's just like a little petal brush. It's super, super soft. And here are the little brightening powders. So they look kind of like a powder I guess you would use under your eyes. It does actually say, here we go. Apply after Locket Concealer Cream under the eyes. Choose your brightening powder shade. So golden for deep and universal. And then Petal, which is this one here for light skin. And then Peach for medium, which is this one here. Mix a little golden into any shade to warm up your complexion. And then the Locket Precision Powder Brush packs brightening powder under your eye area. Let it bake for 30 seconds and use the clean side of the brush to buff off the extra powder. And then use the setting spray, which looks like this, to set everything and make it last. Next is something from Mecca. Hi Shannon, we hope this amazing lip oil from Hourglass helps your pore over swatched lips. Oh, that's so sweet. I've actually heard really good things about this, so I'm excited to try it. So I think you pump it. I'm scared it's gonna like <gasps> squirt out. I can hear it. Okay, we have some. Oh, it smells really good. It smells really similar to my avocado and... Is it rose hip and avocado or jojoba and avocado um, oil I've been using on my skin? It smells like the same. Must have avocado oil in it or something. Next up is some stuff from The Balm. Powder foundation. Cool. Oh, it looks like they sent me heaps of different colours. Oh, and what's this? I saw this on someone's Instagram today. It's a highlight and contour palette. Ooh, pretty. That looks like a good color under the eyes. I've chosen the shades lighter than light and medium. And the rest can go in the donate pile. Might get a bit of Louis slobber on them if you're lucky. Hi Shannon, wanted to make sure you received our spring 2017 assortment, including our nocturnal collection. Can't wait to see what you think. Brow boxes. Ooh, nocturnal vice lipsticks, brow boxes, and the nocturnal shadow. Look how pretty that looks. I'm gonna open it and I'll open up one of my shades of the brow box too. Here's the colors. I actually think I've got quite a lot of these colors separately. Like, I'm pretty sure I've got Fireball Lounge, um, ABC Gum, Midnight Cowboy, Half Baked, Blackout, and perhaps that heroin so like i've got most of these i might put it back in the box and save it for you guys for a giveaway here are all the colors so i don't know which ones i'm thinking maybe bathwater blonde brother the bathwater blonde 
and maybe brown sugar for when I like darker brows. I'm just going to open them up and have a look. So this is hanging around like a bad smell. What are you doing? You don't usually hang out with me. No. So this is a really cute concept. It's got some brow tools down the bottom. And then in the top is the colour. So this colour definitely looks perfect for me on a normal day. That's the one that Zeus was just chewing on. <laughs> this is bathwater blonde. And then I'm just going to open up this one too because I reckon this one will be good. Yeah, this looks absolutely perfect for me when I've got darker brows. Because sometimes I like wearing darker eyebrows. Sorry about all the like leaves all over the carpet. Yesterday I got home and Louis was just destroying plants all over the friggin' lounge floor. I had no energy to vacuum, obviously. So there are those two shades there. Bathwater bron blonde. I keep trying to say bronze. And brown sugar. This lipstick here is called Backstab. This one's called Nonsense. Lawbreaker. This one's a sheer. And this one here is called Fireball. So it's like that eyeshadow. And it is a metallic finish. There's still a few more packages to go, but I have to say I'm feeling a lot more calm. <sighs> By the way, some of you may be wondering what's happening with my nails. I know they're not really a normal Shenix though kind of look. Um, you'll find out maybe in my next vlog. I might vlog it when I do it, but you'll see. Toes too even. Enjoy fit fetish people. Next up is something from Anastasia. Might be the new palette, yep. The lip palette. Gotta be honest, I don't know how I feel about this concept. Like, I obviously love lip palettes. I've got my own with BH Cosmetics. But, I don't know. I think, I guess just as a creator, like, if I use this in tutorials, it's not easy for people to get the exact same lip color as me. Although, I guess you could, and you could kind of mix it to your own um, skin tone, so it's not really the worst thing. But, I don't know. I'll have to try it. It looks good. It looks like real creamy. Okay, hold on. So here are all the colors. They are definitely really pretty. I think I'll try it and see what I think after I've tried it. Here's a better look. Next is something by MAC. It is the Caitlyn Jenner collection. So this is her skin finish in Compassion. The lip gloss in Beautifully Bare. A lip liner in Whirl. Rocket Cream Sheen Lipstick. Love the packaging. Do you mind? That's pretty. Just like a deep kind of brownish nude. Next up I got a bunch of brushes and stuff from Tangled Teaser because they saw me use one of their brushes in a video and I've already spotted. There's two Hello Kitty ones so I'm not sure if Sally likes Tangled Teasers but I'm definitely saving one of these for her because she's Queen Hello Kitty. Maybe this one because it's Hello Kitty colours and... I like the pink one. <laughs> so cute. Um, and there's like a gold one, and I've got this one, the pink one, and a thick and curly dark red one, colorful one, and then I've got these other brushes as well for blow styling. That one looks interesting, it's friggin' huge. This one is for, oh, there you go, smoothing, shine, hair extensions, and detangling. Heaps of different stuff. Next up, I have a glow glossary by Becca. Ooh, cool. Lots of different skin tones. And lots of different colours. I mean, products, you guys know what I mean. What's this one? This one is opal. And then, oh crap. This is the under eye correcting colour thing. I think I've got that. Oh, this is new. I've seen this on trend mode. This is the Soft Light Blurring Powder. It looks really cool and I love the packaging. And then there's a Kabuki brush that you use to apply it. The Pored Opal Shimmering Skin Perfectors and the First Light Priming Filter, which is meant to be really good as well, just to like brighten up your skin. So I'm so excited to try all of this. Next I got these Tweez in the Dark by Tweezerman and I'm guessing they've got like a little light in them, which is super cool. I've heard such good things about Tweezerman tweezers, but I haven't really experimented with them that much. Hi Shannon, wishing you a great 2017. Hope you love our new Pastel Goth palette. The packaging's so cool. And here are the colours. They are really pretty. Not like a normal kind of pastel. It is called Pastel Goth though. Oh my god, that was so close. They're a little bit of a like bold pastel colour. I love those first four. And then those ones at the back would make such a cool smoky eye, especially if you mix them with some neutrals. Hey love, guess what? We made sister shades for our most loved ultra matte lips. These shades now have a matching lippy pencil and matte X lippy stick. Yay! That's 
exciting. This here is Cards Against Humanity, which we bought as a gift. And then the last thing is from Mac. Oh my god, this box is epic. Oh, that's probably a poster. Mac in the spotlight. And some info about it if you want to pause. I've seen this on, was it Sally's Snapchat, I think? Although it might be a different color. Show gold. I feel like this is the same one Sally got. It's so pretty. Wait. It's kind of got like a pinky color in it, but you can't see on camera. And then just all the new strobe cream shades. This is the peach one. Holy shit, it's so pretty. You can't even see like... My camera is not picking up the color well. It's so, so beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to end today's vlog here. I'm going to go have a shower, cook some toast, cook some toast, put on some toast and hop in bed and just relax because I can't concentrate on anything right now. I edited two vlogs today, so I think that's a good enough effort. And I put up a main channel video. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.